Hi, everybody. Let's talk about stringy beads, right? One of our fine motor cognitive activities for this week. So for this activity, you're going to need something to lace or string with, as well as something to lace or string. String, beads, if you happen to have those from the material packets, great. Go ahead and use those. Have some of your own. That's great, too. If you don't happen to have them, don't know where they are, not to worry. I'm sure you have something in the house that you can use. So for stringy materials, you can use a piece of string right? You can use a shoelace, a piece of yarn with the end taped up with masking tape or duct tape to give that little extra tip. You can use a skewer, a barbecue skewer from your house with the sharp pointy part broken off, taped up so it's not so sharp. You can use a pipe cleaner also provided in our materials kit, right? You can use something like this. Uh, it's provided from the Lakeshore Toddler uh, Stringing Kit, right? Hard plastic. You can use a skinny straw. You can even use a paper towel holder. And then for the beads, for the paper towel holder, you can use a paper towel roll cut up into rings and practice placing them on the paper towel holder or a flashlight. For the other materials, you can use anything like Cheerios, Fruit Loops, Penne Pasta, anything that has a little circle through it through the middle that you can string through, not a problem. So once you have your materials, go ahead and get those out and get ready. Offer the string or the material to your child. I have found in the past that um, if the child has a dominant hand, and not all children do at this age, if they have a dominant hand, it's better for them to hold the string in their dominant hand and the bead and their non-dominant hand, right? So present the string to the child. A couple things to think about with the string. Um, the tip, a lot of shoelaces just have a little bit of a reinforced tip on the end. Some children may need a little more reinforcement of a tip, and that's going to make it a little easier to align to the hole and get it through. But on the same token, if it's too easy for your child to do that, like the ones that are provided in the kit, go ahead and feel free to snip off the end so there's less of the reinforced end. Now, some children are going to try and grab the string right up close. That just doesn't work. You can't get it very far, right? Other children are going to try and grab it from down below, and it's hard to coordinate. So help your child find the right position with a couple of inches between their fingers and the end of the string, give or take. Align it to the hole. Encourage them to go push, 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 push it all the way through. Oh, look, there it is. It came out the other side. What are we going to do? We're going to pull it up, 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 right? Do it again. Grab another one. Same thing. Line it up. Push, push. Pull it up, 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 up. Talk about the beads. How many do you have there? Ooh, what color are they? Or do you have shapes? What are the shapes? I encourage you to go ahead and make sure you're not the end of the string so that the beads don't come off. And it isn't as frustrating. That's great. If that's too easy, Again, you can reinforce the tip a little bit more with the duct tape or masking tape or use something like a pipe cleaner, right? Same concept. It's just a little more rigid. You don't have to worry about managing where the string is going. Put it through the hole. Push, pull, pull, up, 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 right? I've also knotted up sort of or bunched up the end so that the bead doesn't fall off. Skewer, same concept, right? Bloop. Same thing with the um, lecture bead, blah, blah, blah. Push, push, push. This one has a little bit of a lip, so it might get hung up on the end. Now, something to also consider when you're thinking about what beads to use for your child, the bigger the bead is, the easier it is to hold on to. So the smaller the bead, and they go a lot smaller, if you think about the jewelry kits and making bracelets and necklaces, are harder to hold on to. The big bead, however, takes a lot more to get the string to go from one end and out the other. The skinnier the item or smaller it is, the less persistence it takes to get it to go all the way through per se, right? So consider those, those different things when you're choosing your materials. You can also do a lacing card, right? Take your string, same concept, push it through. Oh, it came out the other side and pull it up, 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 right? And also too, if the string's a little bit long, feel free to go ahead and cut the string, right? Make it a little more manageable. Pull it up, 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 up and pull. Great things to consider. Have fun with it. Enjoy. And we'll see you next time. Bye.